the most complex example of uh, an algorithmic approach to fractals that I found was actually not in geometry. It was in a symbolic code. And this was uh, Bamana sand divination. And the same divination system is found all over Africa. Um, you can find on the East Coast as, as, well, as well as the, the West Coast. And often the, the, the symbols are, are very well preserved. So, so uh, each of these symbols has uh, four bits. It's a four-bit binary word. You draw these lines in the sand randomly. Uh, and then you count off. And if it's an odd number, you put down one stroke. And if it's an even number, you put down two stroke. And they did this uh, very rapidly. And I couldn't understand where they were getting, they only did the randomness four times. I couldn't understand where they were getting the other 12 symbols. Uh, and they wouldn't tell me. They said, no, 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 I can't, I can't tell you about this. I said, well, look, I'll, I'll pay you. You, know, you can be my teacher and, and, and I'll come each day and pay you. I said, oh, it's not a matter of money. You know, this is a religious matter. And finally, out of desperation, I said, well, let me explain George Cantor in 1877. And I started explaining you know, why I was there in, in Africa. And they got very excited when they saw the Cantor set. And uh, one of them said, you know, come here, I, I think I can help you out here. And so he took me through the initiation ritual for, for a, a Bamana and a priest. Um, and of course, I was only interested in the math. So the whole time he kept shaking his head going, you know, I didn't learn it this way. But I, I had to sleep with uh, a kola nut next to my bed, buried in sand, and give seven coins to seven lepers and, and so on. Um, and finally, he, he, he revealed the, uh, the truth of the matter. Uh, and it turns out it's a pseudo-random number generator. They're using deterministic chaos. When you have a, a four-bit symbol, you then put it together with another one sideways. So even plus odd gives you odd. Odd plus even gives you odd. Even plus even gives you even. Odd plus odd gives you even. So it's addition modulo two, just like in the parity bit check on your computer. Uh, and then you, you take this symbol and you put it back in. So it's a self-generating diversity of symbols. They're, they're truly using a, a kind of deterministic chaos in doing this. Now, because it's a, a, a binary code, you can actually implement this in hardware. What a fantastic teaching tool that should be uh, in, in African engineering schools. And the, the most interesting thing I found out about it was uh, historical. In the 12th century, Hugo of Santalia brought it from Islamic mystics into Spain. Uh, and there it entered into uh, the, 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 uh, the alchemy community as geomancy, the, 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 the divination through the earth. This is a geomantic chart drawn by uh, uh, for, the, for King Richard II in 1390. Leibniz, the German mathematician, talked about geomancy in his dissertation called De Decombinatoria. And he said, well, instead of using one stroke and two strokes, let's use a one and a zero. And we can count by powers of two, right? Ones and zeros, the binary code. George Boole took Leibniz's binary code and created Boolean algebra, and John von Neumann took Boolean algebra and created the digital computer. So all these, these little PDAs and, and laptops, every digital circuit in the world, started in Africa. And I, I, I know uh, Brian Eno says there's, there's not enough African in computers, but you know, I don't think there's enough African history in Brian Eno. <laughs>